Steve here. Welcome if it's your first time to the channel. My name is Steve. I am your host today. And today I'm going to be talking a lot about the best time of year, which is Christmas. If you're a mountain biker. You know there's all those gifts you wanted to get yourself, but you know you're like, oh man, I just can't buy that one more thing or put whoever over the edge. So today I'm going to talk about the best gifts. I got about 12 of them and then a couple of bonuses. And the idea is that you probably would take this video and maybe send it to those friends or family members who love you so much and just can't wait to get you your most treasured and loved mountain bike gifts. So, not gonna delay any longer. Um, I'm gonna just jump right into this. And number one, I'm gonna talk about the thing that will absolutely kill your ride faster than anything else. You're dreaming about miles and miles of smiles and being stoked on the trails and you get a flat that's going to kill it. So a couple of first couple of gifts actually going to deal with flats and things like that. These are super practical gifts, by the way. And most of these gifts are well under a hundred bucks. It's kind of just, you know, nice. You can throw that out there. These are less than a hundred bucks. You know, even a couple of these might even not be less than a hundred. So you might be able to package a couple of these together. But anyway, number one is um, tire plugs. So if you've got tubeless tires like I do here, um, uh, you need plugs. If you get a flat, you get thorns or things that are bigger, you just hit a big rock or something like that. So anyway, um, stands, uh, I'm throwing this out there because everybody's been making the same kind of plugs forever. And it's actually kind of an adoption from your traditional car tire plugs. Um, and stands, who if you know stands, no tubes and stand sealants, they came up with this great new thing. And um, I've checked it out. They're just brilliant. Um, and here's why. Uh, stands, and I'm, I'm gonna place a little video here for you guys to see this. <clears throat> stands uses this new technology they call darts. And it actually almost looks like they have like feathers attached to this little dart. It's a whole system, it's really brilliant. And what happens is instead of having to make this big, bigger hole in your tire, what they do is you shoot this little, it's kind of like a dart that's got this rubber, but the rubber's treated with a chemical and it, and it reacts with your tire sealant. And it basically re, like regenerates the rubber. Now, not really, but I mean, but kind of, yeah, chemically, it's making new rubber and actually sealing that tire like it's new. You don't have to mess with it when you're done. Just leave it how it is and just ride with it. So it's a brilliant, brilliant idea. It's a great gift. Definitely something you want to throw in your bag. Um, so that's my number one gift. I think it's just brilliant. I've used it. It's it's just excellent. I got my first, first flat in two years. And the thing is just brilliant. Well worth carrying around in your bag. Weigh, weighs a couple of ounces. It's, it's awesome. Number two, we'll go right along with that idea of the plug. Well, after you plug your tire, you need to pump it back up. So there's a host of many different types of pumps. Um, I use this one. I'm going to just leave a link for all of this stuff below. And yes, if you click on some of these items, um, I may get a couple cents from Amazon or whoever, who knows. I've been doing this a while now. I think I've got a collective of about $15 of it, but I appreciate that. And if you do go there, it does help support the channel. So Anyway, pumps, mini pumps is a couple. You want a two-stage pump, which means it's pumping when you pump in and when you pull back out, you're pumping because these are meant to be really small, again, fit in a bag and make them super practical. So you want one that really does the most for your pumping power because it's a lot of pumping to pump up a tire to get it back up to 15, 20 PSI. So, so anyway, so you want to pump. That's number two. That's a biggie. Number three, this is a favorite of mine. This is if you want to make a mountain biker happy, buy them a pair of gloves. Now you might want to find out what kind of gloves they like. Like I love Tasco just for no, I don't know why I tried a bunch of other ones, more expensive, cheaper. I just happen to love Tasco. And uh, right now they have, cause I'm in the Southeast, but it feels more like the Northeast lately with our weather here. It's been kind of cold. Um, they have a Dawn patrol and if it's, you know, winter, we're going, it's Christmas now going into the cool, colder and cooler months, no matter where you are. Dawn patrol, they make great, great gloves. Tasco makes Dawn patrol. Uh, and they're just awesome. Keep your hands warm when it's cold out. So great. But there's also, um, one, one up and another one I just wanted to mention too was Pearl Azumi. So if you are a bigger rider or no bigger riders with big hands, um, um, I wear like medium to large gloves. <coughs> I tend to like them a little bit tighter 
fitting. Um, but if, but I, but I do notice that a lot of gloves get really tight at the top, you know, and they, they're trying to keep them so they don't move around on, you know, on, on the handles, bars and stuff. You want those things locked on, but Pearl Izumi makes some really awesome gloves and they make them for, they make some gloves that really fit larger hands. Got a friend and he loves Pearl Izumis. They handle really well. They hold up to a beating uh, and they're made to fit larger hands. So if you get that large, extra large, or even extra large is always a little tighter, check out Pearl Izumi. I'll leave a link for those as well over to Pearl Izumi. Um, and uh, maybe you'll like them. Hopefully that helps you. So there you go. Number three, uh, I should say number four and sort of five. We're going to get to a couple of things with apparel right now. So jerseys um, are always a big win. Um, I'll leave a couple of links to some jerseys that I prefer. So my jerseys and my shorts um, and shorts are the next one. So I'm going to kind of combine four and five, I guess, is um, I love um, Troy Lee design stuff. It's a personal preference of mine. There's lots of other companies out there that make really good products. Um, Fox makes great stuff. Pearl Zumi make great, great stuff. I mean, there's so many, I, I hate to even list and mention any others, but what I personally ride and it takes a beating and just keeps on going and it, they look like I've barely worn them are the Troy Lee <coughs> um, shorts. I'll leave a link because there's like five different levels of them and then they have different weights and yeah, anyway, so you'll, you'll see those, but personally, any rider is going to love a new pair of shorts and a new jersey. And I'm going to just throw this out there. If you do know your rider, whoever that is, um, and they got a bike like I've got the Ibis Ripmo here, chances are they've dropped a couple thousand dollars on a bike. They're pretty stoked on that bike and that brand. So why not look in their catalog for their merch and see what kind of stuff they have? So, like, I wish Ibis made more stuff, more merch. Come on, guys. What's going on, man? Um, shirts, jerseys, shorts, hats, anything like that, gloves, stuff like that. I was out with a buddy of mine and we visited Industry 9 um, in uh, Asheville and they gave me hat, t-shirt and gloves. And I'm not really, I've not really worn a lot of one-up gloves, but they gave me a pair of one-up gloves. I really like them and they have their branding all over them. They look really cool. So if that's something that you like, if you've got i9 wheels or 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 like your um what else is it there's a tons of different types of hubs and these things are things that these are things are products that people are really passionate about they they scream and yell about on facebook you guys know and youtube um about what's the best tires and what's the best brakes and the best shifting so those are all things you may want to check out those brands for things like shirts and shorts and stuff like that and see what else they make anyway just throwing it out there all right, next up, we're getting into a little more practical stuff again, back to uh, stuff that can go in your bag, and that is a multi-tool. Now, I use a Crank Brothers multi-tool. It's a little bit bigger version of the, some of the smaller ones they make, but um, I really love it. Been have this one now about a year and a half, and although I've only used it a couple, of, maybe a handful of times for me, I always have it on me, and I'm always running into people on the trail that don't have tools with them, they just ride around with nothing. And just waiting for the mountain bike tool fairy to come along and save them in the middle of the woods because their seat post is loose or their one of their spokes is a little out of whack or one of their, you know, their levers up here is just that, you know, so you, you constantly need these tools. So um, always have one of those in your bag. <clears throat> I just picked up a new one. I'll, I'll show you that one as well here. I mean, they're great. They're so vital and so useful. Uh, I just don't understand why you'd ever ride around with, for, without this thing being it's so small and compact and easy. So that's a great tool and a great gift for anybody. They don't have one. Or maybe they have a smaller one. I get the bigger one because it's got more torque sizes and wrenches and the chain brake on there is priceless. Honestly, you can't live life <laughs> and ride without that thing. So um, so I'll leave a link for that. And then you can get little, that's not, it's not a big one, but like little, uh, like key links or your, your master links, definitely have one or two of those in your bag. So they're super cheap, simple little gifts, but can't hurt to have one or two extra of those in your bag either ever. <clears throat> um, shoes. So here we're creeping up a little bit in price. We may have just breached the $100 mark, depending on most likely we're just on the edge of 100 to maybe 150 <clears throat> and that's mountain bike shoes. 
Um, I ride the free riders from, um, uh, well, now it's Adidas again, but it, you know, it was 510, um, 510 made by Adidas. I ride the free riders. It's a flat shoe, meaning it's not a clip in shoe. And they always run right around just about a hundred bucks. And right now with Christmas coming, everybody's doing sales 10 to 25% off. So if you know your rider's size or shoe, get them now, get them. And uh, even if it's off a little bit size, they've got the shoe and most places will just return, you, you know, swap that out without an increase in price. So you're just doing a replacement kind of a thing. So, but, but <clears throat> they, they fit pretty, you know, they fit pretty true to size. Most of them I, I wear, <coughs> I wear 10, the 10 free riders fit me perfect. So there you go. That's a great one too. Next up, is one and one of the few things I'm actually going to show you right here, right now, is um, the bag. So, um, these things are priceless and all the stuff that I mentioned here and all the other stuff I'm going to mention, you need some place to put it. So this is the Camelback. It's interesting. It's an LR, which means it's a low rider. It's, it's called a repack. And I uh, picked this out when I was, picked this up just a couple months ago when I was in New Mexico riding. It is awesome. It holds so much gear. It's got side pockets here. It's got a big pouch and it's a hydro pack, which means you've got your water bladder inside. This is a one and a half liter hydro pack, water pack inside here. And uh, holds plenty of water for most of your rides, especially this time of year when it's a lot cooler, and, you know, guzzling water like, you know, mid summer or whatever. Um, holds tons of gear. Um, I'll leave a link for this. Uh, and also I have the backpack that I wear also by Camelback and it's also, it's called a low rider, um, which means it sits down instead of sitting way up on your shoulders, the backpack actually sits much lower. The idea that it's keeping weight lower on you, which is mostly true, um, when you stand up, but most of the time when you're on a mountain bike, actually you're not standing up straight. You know what I mean? So it's kind of, it's not a gimmick. It does work when you're standing up. It's just not quite the degree that you'd expect it. Like, oh, low rider's keeping all that weight super low on you. That depends on your posture. Anyway, there you go. Next up, this one is great, super versatile gift. Um, it is a bike stand. Um, this is one I picked up. You can kind of see right here. I've got some other stuff attached on here for cameras and stuff, but this is a great, it's kind of a park tools knockoff with the color and all. But um, I think this was only like 50 bucks. Um, they run up to 200, um, has a nice wide base, really widens out, super versatile. It can turn, it adjusts, it goes up and down. It's got a little tray here for all your tools and stuff. So great, great, great. If you've got a mountain biker, if you are a mountain biker who likes to tinker and work on your bike or just wants to get your bike up and clean it and do your services and stuff, not having to flip it over or put it on the ground or hang it on something. Um, great, great tool, great, great gift to have. Another great gift is um, sunglasses, man. And so these are uh, Gooder glasses. They're called Gooder, G-O-O-D-R. And um, the reason I like them, they stay firm on your face. Um, they're light, um, but they have a little bit of flex too. Super durable, but the, the treatment on them doesn't scratch. Um, this is like my third or fourth pair. I just keep buying these things because they come out with different cool new designs and, um, and they're super, super durable. You can bang these things around, drop them on the trail, provided you don't run them over. Um, I think they'll survive any fall hit drop, even bang, but just don't run them over. Probably, probably not a good idea to run them over. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. So that's been a, a pretty good list so far. So now we're going to kind of get to the, like the big bonus gift stuff here um this is going to be for people who really really love you a lot like crazy love you um or are stupid rich and they just like you a lot maybe but they've got tons of money but anyway so um number one probably on the list is getting a little bike they call it bike computers um i don't have a better name for them i don't know i just never think of it as a computer it's it's more like a mileage counter but it does so much more it's kind of like Instead of having to have your apps open on your phone and ride around with that, hoping the thing doesn't crash on your ride at some point, um, having a little bike computer like this one, this one is by Wahoo. It's called a Wahoo Element. There are several levels of the Wahoo Element. There's a mini, there's this one, there's two or three levels up. The reason I say they may need, really need to love you a lot is these things start out around $100. 
Um, and this one here runs at like around $250. Um, and they go up to $350 and even $400, depending on different brands. Like I said, to mention, this is a, a Wahoo. There's also uh, Garmin makes them. And there's a bunch of other companies out there that make them. But um, they're pretty awesome to have with you. There are larger ones, as you can kind of see the face on this one isn't huge. You can get ones that are even larger that, that will e they'll even show you like where you are on the trail. So they will sync up with apps like Trail Forks and Strava and things like that. So that's why we're getting up into like another kind of level of how much do I love you on your Christmas list kind of a list. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so these are great though. Um, they're gonna keep you synced up with your favorite apps. You don't have to run them on your phone. There's a lot of real big advantages to having this kind of a device on your bike. Um, watch though, when you do get these, look at the charging method. Some of them use internal batteries most of them like this though, have a port in them that you actually have to charge these up periodically. So you got to keep an eye on that. It's not the end of the world if one of it doesn't, if it dies out. But if you're doing like a Strava challenge or something like that, you'd hate to lose like a 15, 20 mile ride because uh, you've got to charge up. So anyway, just something to look at. Great gift though. Definitely one of the top ones on the bonus list. So let's see what we've got next. Another big one is called the MTB Hopper. Um, if you guys have followed any of this stuff down Bentonville, Arkansas, there's a guy down there that uh, just, he's a he's a teacher, trainer, I don't know what to call him, instructor. And this guy uses these MTB Hoppers all the time. And they're brilliant. So if you want to start jumping, learning to jump in kind of a safe, controlled environment, MTB Hoppers seem like brilliant. I got a buddy of mine. He's got one, he brought one out in the backyard here and we just banged away in that thing for like hours and hours. So you really get a good consistent feel and confidence when you're jumping, learning to jump from smaller jumps to bigger jumps. And they make everything from this little mini one that probably only goes about two, maybe about a foot and a half, two feet to they have like this monster one, I think like has like, it's like four feet off the ground. So that's for launching and you kind of need a landing for that one for sure. But anyway, MTB Hopper, great thing. I'll leave a link for that as well for you guys. And so finally, here's here's one that's a little different. Um, and so you know, this is going to be the thing why you want to send this to your friends and family, okay? Because uh, um, it's a little bit more money. It involves a little bit more planning and time and all that kind of stuff. But basically, it's a trip, um, a mountain bike trip. Like, why not? You know, and you've got all these little gadgets now and stuff. And maybe you, you watched last year's video I did and you got all that stuff, including and you have all the stuff I'm mentioning this year. Um, so what do you want to do with all that? Well, almost everywhere in the country, there are little pockets and places that are like little meccas of mountain biking. And uh, why not ask your friends or family or someone to chip in and get a trip going for you? Um, you know, and maybe it's just, you know, you you drop hey i really love to go to moab you know sometime soon you know so fly out to moab it's like 300 bucks you know and then if you travel with your bike um you need a bike bag which i'm not even mentioning bike bags because bike bags run like 500 dollars. so i'm not but that's a great you know hey if you got somebody who's <laughs> wants to really get you a killer gift you know hey get them the evoc mountain bike bag 500 bucks you awesome everything fits in there it's safe but anyway why not do a trip though so for me i am in north carolina i do trips out to pisgah uh, and dupont and that region so that's right we're right on the tennessee north carolina border some of the best mountain biking probably in the world and absolutely on the eastern united states of america but there are other places if you're up in new york hey get up into vermont you know and if you're in pennsylvania there's epic places to ride in Pennsylvania, even places like Florida, which you think are totally flat. You've got, you know, like Alfaya and you've got Santos bike trails. Like these are places like you go their destination. So those are great gift ideas that are a little bit outside the normal box of, you know, gifts you would normally think. This is a little bit more complicated gift, but yeah, I think it's worth it, right? So anyway, guys, Thank you so much for checking things out today. Really, there's tons and tons of more gifts, and I'm gonna do a big mega gift video 
in another week right before Christmas. Um, and these are going to be kind of like the mega gifts. Like I didn't mention things like dropper posts here. I mean, those run like 200 bucks or so. Um, I didn't mention other things. There's lots of other things I could have mentioned too. And you can throw those in there. I'll leave a link of some like extra things like, like grips and, you know, braking brakes. And there's so many different things as, as mountain bikers, man, that we, we want tires, things like that, rims, wheels, but you know, the, the list really could go on. It could be endless, but I kind of wanted to give you guys like, kind of like my top 10 plus some bonuses. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a great week. Have an awesome holiday. Get out there and ride. Be safe. Have fun. Talk to you guys soon. Hey, and if you made it this far, you know what to do. Click that like button and click subscribe. All right, guys. Have a great week.